There is a lot of great news in today's video that will definitely affect seniors in Canada. According to a recent announcement from the Canada Revenue Agency Cray, seniors who qualify will begin receiving a special $4,800 CPP check on June 21st. This program is an extension of the CRAI's pledge to give seniors more financial assistance during these trying times. We will go over every detail about these CPP inspections in this comprehensive analysis. Firstly, we will define who is eligible for this payment and what requirements seniors must fulfill in order to be eligible. We will examine the special features of these checks, emphasizing their distinctions from standard CPP benefits and the rationale behind their current issuance. We'll also cover the ins and outs of the payment process, including when seniors can anticipate receiving their payments, key dates to note on your calendar, and precautions you can take to guarantee a seamless deposit into your bank account. Comprehending these particulars is vital for elderly individuals and their relatives to make knowledgeable choices and efficiently strategize for the future. To begin with, who is genuinely eligible to get this $4,800 payment? You must be receiving regular CP retirement pension payments as of right now, according to precise rules established by the federal government. Individuals who are solely receiving the post-retirement disability benefit, children's benefits, or the CPP survivor's annuity are ineligible. To be eligible for the top up on June 21st, 2022, your regular CPP payments have to begin on or before December 31st, 2022. That means you will be out of luck if you started receiving CPP in 2023 and never received this one-time payment. Both income restrictions and clawback clauses are absent. Therefore, if you meet the other requirements, you will receive the entire $4,800 regardless of your income level. To be eligible, you have to be a resident of Canada for a minimum of 10 years. Therefore, those who are new immigrants and have paid into the CPPP but have not lived in Canada long enough will not be eligible. According to governmental estimates, around 3 million seniors in Canada who currently receive the CPP retirement pension and have lower and intermediate incomes will be affected by this. If you are qualified, how will you actually get this $4,800 payment? The good news is that there is no need to apply. The same means by which you presently get your CPPP benefits will be automatically used by the government to issue the payments. The $4,800 will be directly transferred into your bank account on June 21st if you receive your regular CPP payments via direct deposit. Nothing needs to be done on your part. If you are receiving paper checks by mail, the $4,800 will be sent to you on or around June 21st as a separate, one-time paper check through the mail system. The $4,800 top-up payment is not included in your standard CPP monthly payment amount. It's an independent, one-time check or lump sum payment. To guarantee that this payment is delivered smoothly, the government has asked all CPP claimants to confirm that their residences and payment information are current. But since they'll use the data already on file, you don't need to get in touch with them. A word of caution be on the lookout for any possible fraud attempts or scams involving this money. Scammers occasionally use circumstances such as these. According to the government, they will never ask for personal information via the phone, email, or text in relation to this $4,800 top up. It's a fraud if someone gets in touch with you that way. You might be asking if this payment would be considered taxable income because it does have to do with the CPP system. The short answer is that, like your regular CPP benefits, it will be deemed fully taxable income by the Canada Revenue Agency. However, when the $4,800 payment comes in this month, no taxes will really be taken out of it. The entire $4,800 payment amount will be given to you. Rather, in the same manner that you report taxable income from your annual regular CPP payments, you will have to disclose the entire $4,800 as income when you file your 2024 tax return. In summary, you can take advantage of the entire $4,800 now, but you will have to pay income taxes on it when you file your annual taxes for the 2024 tax return the following spring. The exact amount of tax that you owe will be determined by your marginal tax rate and total taxable income. After deducting taxes, credits, and your marginal rate, part or all of the additional $4,800 may be essentially tax-free for seniors with lesser incomes. However, the additional $4,800 that higher income seniors earn will increase their overall income and may result in a larger tax burden. To avoid any unpleasant surprises, it's a good idea to budget ahead of time for this higher tax due, regardless of your income level. To meet the anticipated taxes due, think about putting some of the $4,800 contribution into a different savings account. Alternatively, if you make quarterly tax installment payments, modify them. 
Regarding your particular circumstances, an accountant or tax specialist can also offer advice. There are a few more significant factors with this payment in addition to the tax ramifications. First, the federal government classifies it as income. Therefore, when submitting an application for any of the income-based federal credits and benefits, including the GST-HST credits, Canada Workers Benefit Guaranteed Income Supplement, and more, it needs to be declared as income. Your eligibility or payment levels for certain income-tested programs may be at risk if you neglect to disclose it. The possible effect on income-tested tax credits and benefits at the provincial and territorial levels is another crucial factor to take into account. Low-income tax credits, supplements, and benefits are available in many provinces and territories. These are determined by your net income level. Programs like the BC Tax Credit, the Ontario Trillium Benefit, the Alberta Child and Family Benefit, and many others are examples. The $4,800 payment will be deducted from your 2024 total taxable income, which may result in a decrease or elimination of some of your current income-tested provincial tax credits and benefits. Depending on the particular program guidelines and income requirements in your province or territory of residency, the impact will change. It is advisable to investigate the possible effects on any significant income-tested credits or benefits that you presently get from your province or territory. The specifics of how one-time lump sum payments, like as the CPP top up, impact your eligibility for and amount of benefits should be covered in their program guides and websites. If your salary exceeds a certain level, you might need to adjust your plans. Positively, aside from the previously stated need to record it as income, the $4,800 payout shouldn't affect seniors receiving federal income tested benefits. This includes income exemption schemes such as the old age security pension and the guaranteed income supplement, which have their own set of regulations. Furthermore, as the GST slash HST tax credit Canada Workers Benefit and Canada Child Benefit payments are dependent on your family's net income from your 2022 tax return before to the CPP top up payment, they shouldn't be impacted by the payment. Another thing to think about for seniors with lower incomes is if the $4,800 payout will push them over the $35,000 income threshold required to qualify for the federal government's guaranteed income supplement. Based on your higher 2024 reported income level, you may receive reduced or no GI's payments for the following year if the $4,800 raises your income above the $35,000 threshold. Seniors who currently make more than $35,000 per year won't see any changes to their GI circumstances either. According to a backgrounder from the federal government, the $4,800 payment will be regarded as exempt income and will not be deducted from the $35,000 income cap for GS eligibility. Thus, it functions as a top-up payment without having an impact on that particular low-income supplement program. All things considered, even though the $4,800 payment is intended to help seniors financially, it's crucial to comprehend the ramifications it has for income testing and taxes. You can make more informed plans if you are aware of any effects on your income-tested credits and benefits, as well as tax returns. Ensure that the payment is accurately reported as income and seek advice from a financial counselor if you have any complicated queries regarding your circumstances. In conclusion, the important information to remember is that the $4,800 is a lump sum payment that is made only once and never again. On June 21st, it will be automatically distributed to qualified seniors receiving a CPP retirement pension. No application is necessary, it will arrive the same way you obtain your CPP benefits. Keep an eye out for any possible payment related scams. It is necessary to report the entire $4,800 as taxable income in 2024. You can maximize this one-time $4,800 cost of living top-up payment from the Canada Pension Plan as long as you recognize and take into account the fact that it is an exempt income source for CPP, OAs, GIs, and rent calculations. It counts as income for income-tested federal-slash-provincial benefits and credits. Please let me know if you would want to discuss any additional details. 